the Samsung Galaxy S4 has landed, but will it become king of the Androids and take on the HTC One? We put the two head to head on size and build, features, screen and camera. Let's start with the size and build, and these two are worlds apart. The Samsung is the lightest at 130 grams and also the thinnest at 7.9 millimeters, compared to the one's 143 grams and 9.3 millimeter heft. But the one has the better finish, and instead of feeling bulky, it feels sturdy and much more luxurious than the plastic finish on the S4. On the features, it's a long list from Samsung. From smart gesture to smart pause, there's no denying that Samsung has packed in the features, although some are certainly more gimmicky than useful. The one's unrecognizable compared to the One X, and you'd be forgiven in thinking that this wasn't an Android phone, as there's no sign of the original OS anywhere. The One wins the screen battle even if it's smaller, a 4.7 inches with a ludicrous 468 ppi compared to the bigger S4 at 5 inches and 455 ppi, but both screens are stunning to look at. Samsung has one of those fandangled 13 megapixel sensors as also found on the Sony Xperia Z. It's a powerful little devil that delivers strong shots and is easy to use. But for all that, the photos aren't quite as wonderful as on the HTC One, which takes a different approach thanks to its fewer but better pixel strategy. The 4 megapixel sensor on HTC's phone is spectacular in lower light, managing it so well you may never need to turn the flash on. So the verdict, is the S4 the best smartphone yet? Well, it lacks the gorgeous and demure styling of the HTC One, and the Sony Xperia Z edges it for photo skills. But the combination of power and innovation puts it towards the top of the tree, just a branch or so below the HTC One, but outgunning all other rivals. The Android battle just turned into a grudge match between these two powerhouses. For the latest on the S4, the HTC One, and all other Android phones, keep velocity 3.com